Hi, Laura J. E. Hamilton here. Who? Who? What? Where? When? Why? I don't normally say my whole name anymore. Laura J. is what I go by. Because Laura Jean Ellen Hamilton is the Canadian empowerment coach with an alternative approach that believes that my country of origin has nothing to do with my humanity. That it also does because it has influenced who I have become and I am very proud of the country that I was born in. And then I also say that it is time for us to come together as one humanity with an extra E to become the ones that we've been waiting for. I believe that now we are on the leading edge of creativity like Abraham, the consciousness channeled by Esther Hicks talks about. I believe that we are living in the matrix, that we have the opportunity to choose whether we take the blue or red pill. And it is not about the Democratic or the Republic Party. It is about realizing that the matrix is the womb in Latin. That's what it means, I read. And if that is the case, then what that means is that we are on the leading edge of creativity right now where we are in an open web of potentiality that allows us to choose what we are going to create moving forward. And one of the first things that we must create together is a shared set of belief systems that will benefit us all. So not only do black lives matter, but Asian lives matter, white lives matter, every life matters. And yet, like in the story I read recently about the shepherd, who has a hundred sheep and notices one went missing and so he left the 99 behind in order to go find the one. Because he knew that the one was worth it and that the 99 would pr protect and defend each other. They could look after themselves, but that one mattered. And that is why when people say, no, black lives matter, yes, but all lives matter more. And it's just like, well, Jesus left the whole flock in order to find the one that was struggling, that was in trouble. And when we're walking down the beach of life and we've got two footprints side by side the whole way, except during the hardest part and we get angry at Jesus who is meant to be walking beside us, is, the story says, <clears throat> and then when we get upset that during those hardest times you weren't there for me? How dare you say that you were my savior, the one that I am meant to turn to in my hardest and most difficult times? And then you find out that actually he was carrying you in those moments. What I would love is for all of us to take a moment to consider the possibility that what if every single ancestor that has come before us has implanted their expression within our own DNA because the one reflects the whole. So the experiences of that one and all of those ones who came before us then come in through us too. Because as Maya Angelou said, that I may come before you as one, but I stand before you as all those who came before me, 10,000 or more all behind me saying hello through me and all of them come too and same with you <clears throat> it is time to clear our throats it is time to take a glass it is time to let the distraction pass and then for the announcement to come. It is time for us to unite in the name of recognizing our own godly nature. Not to say that we are God or that we don't need God, but to say that we are individuated expressions of God and that if you separate 
ocean water from the ocean. Is not that still yet ocean water? Or does it just become something different because of the glass that it's in rather than from where it came from? Well, this is the glass that you are wearing, that your soul chose to house you, my friend. And that glass contains within it the expression of all that came before, not just in the others, but recognizing that you were some of those others too. That's why they came in through you. Because your soul has incarnated many different times, not just here, in other places too. Our souls come from stars. We incarnate here for a temporary stay, but it could be far longer than what we have allowed to be the limit on how long we get to be here simply because of the way that we treat the vessel. There are some places on this very planet where people live an average of 150, 200 years, double more than what some places here do simply because of the way that we choose to live. We have to honor the vessel, but we also have to know what's in the vessel. We have to know that Jesus Christ was a man that came before us and is an avatar for his soul's expression. And then I'm sure, I don't know for sure, but his soul has likely come back in through others because you don't have to be the leader every time in order to learn your lessons. And in the lifetime when he came, that was what he came here to experience. Maybe he hasn't reincarnated because maybe when you get to that place of embodiment, of a new energetic frequency that just takes you to that highest level of peace and bliss where you know that you can access the inner rabbit hole anytime, then you don't, you don't have to come back and squeak and be imperfect like a human. Perfectly imperfect. Right? It's just like, it's time for us to take our hats off to the ones who came before and to say, this is Laura J, the Canadian Empowerment Coach, with an alternative approach that is here to share some of the soulful secrets that I have discovered throughout my travels over these years, having been a certified coach, teacher, speaker since 2011, and a seeker since I was five and Unsolved Mysteries was my favorite show. There is so much that I have come to know in the last year, and some of it is that you just don't know, except for we get to choose, we get to create, and that is where our power lies. It's just knowing what to create that is the issue. Distraction. Let them pass. But don't necessarily start your next point until after they have passed, so that if you do want to edit, that piece of the memory out, then you don't have to listen to the sound of it echoing in the background as you begin your next point. Be pointed. Be focused. Be specific. Know where you're looking. Know what you're looking for. Know who you're looking for. Not necessarily in person, but know the signature. Design them ahead of time. I am working on designing the pattern blueprint of the man that I look forward to sharing the next part of my life with because I'm tired of short stories. That's a side point, but at the same time, short stories are what make up really great anthologies too, and I've got lots of them that I can't necessarily share who, but I can certainly share the lessons that I've learned and all of these things are just reflections of my transparency as a human first and foremost and then as a coach teacher speaker secondarily and yet also right up there with the first because I live and breathe to be here with you I live and breathe to speak my truth the one that I've discovered so far realizing that maybe it's truth or maybe it's just only true for me, so far as I've seen it to be so far. 
And when I know more, when I meet the one that has the key to the door that I didn't know how to open before, then I'll know more and can go further. And each time I move further in that video game of life that I'm playing, what I'm saying is that I'll share the secrets that I discover. And that's what these videos are going to be. So if you are not already subscribed, please do. Laura J. E. Hamilton is the full name on my account and would love for you to be able to tune in and share this message with other soulful seekers who are on the path to self-discovery that want to be able to actually be the change they seek in the world. So no longer is it just a meme and a quote said by someone famous of the past who you may or may not know, but the point is it doesn't really matter. What does is that you could be the very one that someone else is quoting next. If only you are willing to harness your potential in this moment, and that's what I dare to invite you to do with me. I would love to be able to lead you through the sacred sojourn of the soul that helps you become the one that you've been waiting for, and now you'll have support through the process. I've created a special practice that breaks down our whole multidimensional nature and the experience from the perspective of the sacred sojourn, physiology, the emotional mind, the conscious mind, intuition, alignment with the moment and letting go of the not now moments of the past where we have no power or even the future where we only have the ability to choose our next action in the now to create that future now then. It's all about understanding that time is not multi, time is not linear the way that we have been taught as so many other things are not neither. It is about realizing that time is actually all happening now like a multi-dimensional layer cake. And if we are willing to just slice down the middle, we will see how all of it is happening now. And that when we show up in those moments and have deja vu, deja vu is where we are viewing the timeline another aspect of ourselves chose as a potentiality because everything is potential. Everything is possibility. That's why the matrix in Latin is the womb. This is the womb. You and I are gestating, my friends, and yet, even in that gestation, there is growth and development happening within the fetus, in the mother's belly. So, while we do not need to expect perfection of ourselves any longer, let that one go. Ooh, yeah. Sometimes I purr, and sometimes I do a little shamanic. quirky. I'm a little weird. I'm a little different. You might be on some of these levels too. These may be a few above, below, on the same level. All good. Point is, I am willing to be myself and I dare you to be yourself too. However weird that shows up to be, so long as it isn't hurting yourself or others. And then if it is to ask yourself why you allow that to be part of your reality. Why is cruelty part of our world? I don't know. It's about contrast, polarity. It's about understanding who we are by who we're not. Yes, I understand these things. But there's a lot more to it too. And these things we don't need to talk about right now in this moment, but simply is to say that we will in future videos, as long as you subscribe, and I hope you will today. This is Laura J. Canadian life coach with an alternative approach. 
coming to you with a message of love for self and others, for bringing the sacred back into this moment. And with that, the screen goes black. It's time. That's the end. I wish you a wonderful day. Please subscribe, share this message, and be sure to like, comment below, let me know what questions you have, curiosities, what considerations, what would you like to talk about next. Let me know below. Laura J. Namaste. The light in me honors. The light in you. Thank you. And a chapter. <laughs>